Hello guys and welcome to this video. Um, this is going to be the first part of my GIMP series and in this uh, video I'm going to cover um, how to g uh, where, where to get the, the GIMP uh, where it stands for not a porn number okay and how to install it well it's not it's just straightforward um uh yeah well let's get it all right let's get going so the gimp um well it stands actually for uh, the uh g n u image manipulation program uh, and it stands there too on the main side you see g n u image manipulation program so their main site is www.gimp.org org uh, I'll provide a link in the description um so um this is the main page so well here you see a download button so obviously you will click on that if you want to download it so um you can download uh yeah well this one you can have download the source um here you have some FTP and mirrors uh, uh, stuff where you can also download it well um yeah it can be a kind of pain in the ass to install it at least for me uh, because uh, uh the gimp or gimp needs uh the gtk um plus or something like that um for uh yeah to install otherwise the installer wouldn't even run um so um yeah uh, when you don't have the right one installed uh you cannot install actually the gimp so uh well it's it's kind of a uh, hard to uh, find out which version of gimp uses which uh, version uh, using uh yeah what uh, which uh, version of um uh, GTK plus so I think you can find out uh, well I, I think you could just click and download it download GIMP well I've got it installed so I can't reinstall it so um yeah here you have uh, the GTK plus and GIMP installer for Windows as the source Search for uh, search for G uh, title says here you have the download link. Uh, well, you, you probably have to save it, of course. Um, ah, well, okay, so uh, that's about it uh, to download. So, when you've got it installed, uh, I have not the newest version, I have 2.4 or something. I don't know. I'll check it and I'll put it in the description. By the way, it's Dutch, so there's no freaking way to change it in English. Well, there is, but I don't know how. Okay, so it's starting up. Um, so uh, I have these windows as standard. So fonts, selection editor, editor, uh, VG and AG. I don't know what it stands for. It's just uh, the color uh, palette, actually. Um, and here I have uh, patterns and here you have layers you can open them um, this is just the main menu when you close this one all those little uh, things will close if you close just one if you will close one of these little windows and not everything will close um... so well uh, the GIMP is by the way a kind of advanced uh, version of Photoshop uh, Adobe Photoshop so it's uh, not an advance, I mean an alternative for that because this one is free and it's actually kind of the same, well not exactly the same something but okay um, well um, so yeah well we have here our program you can go to uh, let's see well let's go to file new and now we get this one you can just uh, the width uh, and the height. You can set them advanced options. Uh, fill. You can do transparency, uh, RBG color. Um, uh, well, this text uh, attachment or I don't know what exactly in 
then I well I don't know what it is in English but okay um, here we have also some uh, presets uh, like <laughs> like to toilet paper well it's kind of cool I think um, LCD cover floppy label web banner common web banner huge PAL and NTSC so um well you can, uh, well I'm going to cover a little bit about the preferences in fi um, file and preferences I think it's preferences I really don't know actually because I don't have the English version so we will get this we have uh, environment I think I don't know uh, I didn't change anything about this actually uh, control I think that it is also didn't change uh, the theme all uh, did not change uh, the system help system also not changed uh, tool options uh, I did not change anything actually well a couple of things so um let's see um well let's see if i can um see what i changed um well i changed something um it's about the uh, um how do you say that um the uh well when you start up a uh, when you create a new file and you go to advanced options uh, these uh, this one uh, the transparency here it's most of the time it's uh, like a uh, white or something so it's not transparency um, but it can be changed uh, actually um, well I just gotta find that out because ah well there uh, standard picture or image I don't know why it's like the uh, image with the little gimp not this one but this one like that so when you click that uh, here you have uh, a pattern or preset I mean you can do you can set the default width and height uh, in pixels uh, inches uh, well I don't know actually uh, uh, well I don't know uh, I just chose pixels because that, that, uh, that is the most common a uh, resolution I just uh, didn't change it it's just uh, this is the standard I thought um, so the um, you can do a grayscale or something and R RGB I choose RGB uh, uh, fill you can do anything I like transparency and a text att attachment or something like that so you can just press ok and it's applied so yeah um, this was it for this part um, Feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, or email me. Um, uh, visit part 2 and watch the HD version in the description. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.